Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate the park assist function on this uh, Land Rover Evoque. Stick it in drive, we switch on park assist. On the dash there, you get a display saying park assist searching. We start moving forward. It's uh, showing a picture of the vehicle and kind of a radar going out to the left. Just go past the cars here. And then it says park assist found. Park assist drive forward with an arrow going forward. Just creep forward a little bit, park assist stop. Select reverse, into reverse. And just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna put my arms out the window. And then let my foot off the brake. Goes back, steering wheel's moving itself. And just gotta give it a bit of accelerator because we're going uphill. On the dash it says park assist. Park assist stop, drive forward. Steering wheel's moved again and again. Park assist stop, park assist finished. That's it. Really simple to use and uh, a great feature. What this car has also got, I'm going to have to turn the air conditioning on so it may make a little bit of a noise, but you've also got TV. Um, it's going to be difficult to show the TV, I'll have to knock the sound off because when YouTube hears certain copyright stuff it knocks the whole soundtrack of the video off but um, there you go you've got TV my music dab radio ordinary radio there's the TV in the center if you click there you get full screen also when you actually select drive and, uh, When you select drive, you have the option of the two screen. And the passenger can see the screen, but the driver can't when you're moving. There you go. It gives you a message. Driver, passenger is viewing TV. You can leave this screen. Another clever function of this car is that the driver can be looking at the sat nav. And the passenger can watch TV.
down to set the sat nav. So we go to nav. First of all, you've got to agree it's not going to cause any, any distractions. Destination entry. We need a postcode which is quickest. Our postcode is P R five four J S. So that's it. That's Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantleydale, Preston, PR5 4JS. OK. And then click destination. Destination's nearby. Well, yes, it is. It's there. We're sat in the forecourt. Um, normally it would come up with go here. So you click go and then it will navigate to where you want to go. This Range Rover, Land Rover, whatever, is absolutely loaded with extras. Um, if we click into reverse, it has the reversing camera there, and uh, touch image for further options, and you've got the park assist guidance, hitch guidance, and so on. Now, home menu extra features bottom left extra features cameras camera home page now you've got here two cameras in the bumpers so when you're edging out at a junction you can see right and left so nothing plows into you you've got cameras in the mirrors so you can see down make sure you're not you know, too close to the edge of a cliff or something. Um, then you've got your reversing camera as well. Proximity view. There. Special 
views. There's your curve view. Then you can click junction view. But imagine this is a junction, a blind junction. I'm coming out. I can't see. A, I can't see a thing because there's a, a van there. But as we edge out, you see more and more, and you can see the way's clear. Um, it, it's really, really brilliant, and uh, can save you a lot of grief that one. I'll just show you how to pay your uh, phone to the Bluetooth system in the Evoke. Uh, first of all, we make sure Bluetooth switched on, and then from any screen, go to phone, search new. There we go. Vehicle to device or device to vehicle doesn't really matter. So we'll do device to vehicle. My iPhone's now looking for a, it to become discoverable, which it has. So a Range Rover Evoque. Put a code in. Not, 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 not. Pair. Where is iPhone?
one six is trying to pair. Do you want to add this device? Yes. And then not 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 not. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Phone paired. It's as simple as that. So, if I can remember how to do this now, uh, home menu, audio settings, no, nope, it's not that. So, home menu again, audio video, my music, plus if you click the little plus sign, it gives you the opportunity to use your phone music. I'll have to knock this off when it does come on, otherwise, YouTube will delete the soundtrack for copyright issues but there you go Aerosmith it is playing that's it don't want to close my eyes Aerosmith dead 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 simple So, um, I'll just, I'll knock that off for a second, knock the Bluetooth off. So, it's showing no audio devices connected, but also, if you want to delete a phone, click phone, brings up the phones that are actually paired to the system. Barry's iPhone 6, delete, delete Barry's iPhone, yep, that's it, it's gone.
this car is so well equipped I really don't know where to start um, reversing select reverse reverse camera comes on you've also got sensors in the front and back the mirrors angle so that you can see the curb and then of course oops, I won't go any further back than that so I'll just uh, I'll just try and select something where I can show you I'm trying to keep the car in the shadows which is difficult because it's a very sunny day today but uh, as you can see the line there tells you where you're going to end up if you turn the steering wheel the line curves off there so get it straight we're going straight back that shows you just about there and the beeping confirms same with the front parking sensors on the front probably can't get near enough there actually are they so that that warns you too 